a new threat to your cell phone privacy has arrived, at least in Washington, D.C. Authorities aren't sure who the culprit is or where it came from, but the breach is virtually unstoppable. The Department of Homeland Security has detected unauthorized use of surveillance devices that could be tracking cell phone locations, eavesdropping on calls, and intercepting messages in D.C. The devices are known as International Mobile Subscriber Identity, IMSI, catchers, or cell phone site simulators. Hackers can swipe your phone number, your phone's unique electronic serial number, metadata about past phone numbers you dialed, and even information about past cell phone towers your phone has pinged. Normally, your phone pings the nearest cell phone tower to allow you to text, call, or use your data. When an IMSI catcher is on, it forces nearby phones to register with it rather than the nearest cell phone tower. The most powerful IMSI catcher, according to AP, can be deployed in low-flying aircraft. AP also reported that more sophisticated versions can eavesdrop on calls by forcing phones to step down to an older, unencrypted 2G wireless technology, and some attempt to plant malware. These devices can range in size and price. IMSI catchers are often the size of a briefcase, but they can be made as small as a cell phone, and they can cost up to $200,000. These devices aren't anything new. They've been used by federal and local law enforcement for years. The ACLU has identified 73 agencies in 25 states and the District of Columbia that own Stingrays. Harris Corp, a tech company from Melbourne, Florida, has manufactured these surveillance devices for years. They sell them under the model names Kingfish, Amberjack, Hailstorm, and Stingray. These devices are designed so that neither the cell phone user nor providers can detect their use. And even the Department of Homeland Security admitted that it has not been able to pinpoint who or what has been activating these rogue surveillance devices in DC. 